In this video I will show you how to record interviews using Zoom software. We will go through different options available in the Zoom settings for the free and pro versions. This video will be very useful for those creating uh, interviews for virtual summits or for their YouTube channels. Hello, I am Mr. Klex and up to this day I have hosted 6 virtual summits and also 5 in-person business conferences. In the past, I used to be a website developer, so I would like to share my technical knowledge and experiences in organizing different types of events. In today's video, we'll talk about Zoom, Zoom software for recording interviews. First, I will show the difference between the free and pro accounts of Zoom, and uh, then we will jump into the settings and we will explore different settings which are important when you want to record interviews. Before we dive in into the details, let's look at the pro and free account differences. If you are recording one-to-one -one interviews, free account of Zoom should be really enough for you. A lot of people think that 40-minute limitation is also for one-to-one -one, uh, calls, but it's not true. One-to-one -one calls can last unlimited time, so you can record one or two-hour interviews if you have only one guest. The pro account by Zoom, uh, which costs around $15 per month, does have few benefits. They provide uh, cloud storage for your recordings up to one gigabyte, but, but as I will explain later, it's not a problem if you exceed this storage for a short period of time. Another um, advantage of pro account is that it opens up the API, Zoom's API. It means that you can integrate your Zoom account together with your calendar booking uh, software. And very often these softwares have an option to connect with a Zoom and uh, instantly create a Zoom meeting ID whenever someone books time in your calendar. So these are the few benefits of the Pro account, but let's jump to the settings and see what we have in the free account. Settings tab you will find in the top right corner of Zoom application and uh, in today's video we'll pay attention to the settings found in video and recording tabs. Also whenever you are in the Zoom meeting uh, you can access settings by clicking here video settings or audio settings. So usually I go to video settings and then I adjust my whatever settings I need. So let's look um, through the first setting which is very important when recording videos. It is called Enable HD. Let's record the video with Enable HD option activated and later we will disable it and we will see the difference. So now I'm recording Zoom video with HD enabled and the outcome is 720p video. And as you see in the right corner of the YouTube player, you can choose the maximum 720p quality for this video. And now let's go back to Zoom and let's try to record a video where HD, the high definition setting is disabled. So we are recording the video now. And if you would decide to upload this video to YouTube, if you see in the bottom right corner, it tells you that the maximum quality it can play is 360, unfortunately. So before you start recording any kind of interviews, it is very, very important that you enable HD in your settings. Next setting is mirror my video. Actually, this setting doesn't affect the final interview recording whenever you record with Zoom. It is more visually, uh, they ca it can flip your camera. So you see it in a mirrored way. In some cases you might need this feature but not for video recording. All right, now let's play with a touch my appearance. It's quite interesting. So let me zoom in the screen we have here. And if you watch carefully my face, when I do touch my appearance, I become like with a makeup, you know. I will toggle. You see the difference? This is on and this is off. I don't like this one, but it can be useful sometimes. However, in the 
recording now i'm recording the 720p quality video and it's, it's changing in instantly in the recording as well so now i'm playing the video file produced by zoom it uh, reduced the quality and now i disabled this setting now i enabled now i disabled again i'm not sure if you see any difference so just because zoom is reducing the quality of the video now i think we have covered all the important settings in the video tab let's look at the next step which is called recording we have uh, settings which are affecting the local recording so local recording is what you get when you record videos uh, with a free version of the of zoom if you're using pro account of zoom here uh, you will see how much cloud recording storage you still have as I said at the beginning of the video, we are talking about uh, settings which are important for video recordings. And the first setting in this screen is called add a timestamp to the recording, this one. So let's see what happens when we record a video with a timestamp activated. Now you see the video, which is a result of this setting. And in the corner, in the corner, you see the timestamp which is uh, indicating how long the recording is going and when did it happen. I don't think it's needed, so make sure it's uh, switched off. Next one, record video during screen sharing. This is very important and I will uh, now demonstrate what these settings do. So let's record a um, video with a screen sharing. So I'm hitting record and now I will uh, share with you screen and as a result of that setting you will not see my face in the final video produced by zoom but now let me um, close this recording and let's test now the setting called record video during screen sharing so now uh, you will see that whenever i hit record and i screen share uh, one of the windows you will notice that now in the top right corner there is my video thumbnail but now it disappeared why did it dis disappear because in this video thumbnails here at the top right uh, while you're recording the video you can toggle on and off the height thumbnail video and show small active speaker so if you move that it doesn't affect uh, video if we in the final video by zoom it will be on the top right corner this video and uh, you can switch off like this and notice that at the moment this uh, video is blocking the screen shared and uh, i will show you another option which is available let me switch off this screen sharing and now let's record the video where we activate place video next to the shared screen in the recording i'm recording i'm sharing the screen and you will notice that uh, now my video thumbnail appears at the top right corner and it is not blocking the screen sharing what happened is now the final video produced by zoom is expanded it's a little bit wider so you have unused space on the right side of your video which i think is a waste of space so that's why i don't like to have thumbnail in this way for sure so and interesting thing is that uh, if you toggle this video thumbnail on and off uh, you will see that the final video produced by zoom is doing this thing so it's a little bit funny right so yeah i don't recommend this kind of option but depending on your situation you might find it useful all right so uh, i disable this so that i don't forget and now let me log into the pro account of zoom and uh, let me show you the cloud recording settings and how they affect the cloud recording produced by Zoom. As I mentioned previously for the pro accounts in the settings of Zoom in the recording tab, there appears cloud recording uh, information. How much gigabytes are you using? The regular $14.99 uh, per month plan has uh, one gigabyte included for free. At this point you might ask what happens if uh, you exceed this storage 
Actually, to my experience, I even had uh, up to two gigabyte or more uh, video recordings stored in the cloud storage and uh, Zoom was just sending me notifications that I, that I exceeded the storage limit, but they didn't delete or limit my possibility to record. So whenever I finish the interview, I am uh, going to the Zoom recording uh, cloud storage. I click on the Zoom recording files and I just download them. You can download all to all at once or you can download one by one. And uh, I store them on my uh, local disk and then I just simply delete these from the cloud recording. I don't need to keep them. So also, as I said, don't worry, uh, you can really exceed the one gigabyte storage. As an example, in my cloud storage at the moment, I have more than one gigabyte stored two interviews and uh, you can see that the settings say that your cloud recording is using 1.2 gigabyte and um, probably if i keep it for a while i will get notification that you exceeded the one gigabyte limit but um, you still have time to remove those files or even to record another video and uh, let's get back now to the settings of uh, zoom cloud recording which you can find on the zoom website here you can see settings of the free account and on this page you see settings of the pro account as you see we have a lot of different options and we will be exploring them right now so let's look at my favorite settings for the cloud recording, which I set on the Zoom website. I like to have these kind of settings, which you see on the screen. And uh, now you see the recording, which I have together with my guest, Yevar. Hello. Hi. So this is how the recording looks like when we have this kind of setting. And I will now toggle all this and we will see what video we will get afterwards. And whenever we change these settings, I found out that to make sure that these settings are reflected on the video recording, you have to first log out from your Zoom application as well. So don't forget to log out and log in to apply the new settings. And now this is the recording which we get whenever we have activated all these uh, settings. And as you see on the left bottom, you can see the name of person and also on the <laughs> on the bottom right you can see the timestamp when this video is recorded if you want this um, extra information on your videos you can activate these two settings add timestamp to the recording and display participants names in the recording and now let's look what happens with the screen sharing in the settings of the cloud recording I have specified that I want to have uh, thumbnails when screen is shared. So my guest Eva, could you please share your screen and we will see how these video thumbnails are shown on the video produced by Zoom whenever we share the screen. So as you see, our thumbnails are now visible on the top right side. If you want your video to look like this, you're welcome to activate this setting but uh, i personally like to uh, have this disabled and now let's go back to my favorite settings for the cloud recording and uh, i want to show how screen sharing it looks without thumbnails so guest yeva could you please share your screen and let's see how the final recording looks like which uh, is produced by zoom software as you see, now there are no thumbnails, there is no extra margins, no extra stretch on the video. Thanks to uh, this setting, active speaker. So we are getting separate file uh, for this recording, which will have only the webcam. And later this webcam with the video editing software, we can add to the screen sharing, to the final video, which uh, we will produce and publish for our virtual summit or our YouTube channel. Now I would like to show another setting at the top right corner of a Zoom application. You can see the toggle, which says gallery view. So before you start recording your interview, decide which 
layout you want. Do you want an active speaker? So like this, I'm counting until three and my guests will count four, five, six. So one, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So this is how it will look like whenever someone is speaking, the software is activating that camera. And with a gallery view, the disadvantage what you have is that in the final recording, you have these uh, uh, black margins at the top and at the bottom. So some people put uh, some kind of uh, logos or descriptions or offers by the speakers. So it's uh, it's your fantasy how you can how you want to use this space. So keep in mind that uh, this is how it looks like uh, using these settings. So I hope this video was useful for you and if you have more questions about uh, settings Zoom provides and how to record interviews for your virtual summits, write in the comments below all your questions, I will respond to them and if needed I will record a new video with uh, different explanations. And also, if you would like to watch more videos related to virtual summit tech solutions and learn about creating uh, in-person conferences. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell and uh, here now on this corner I will put a link to another video I think might be interesting for you to watch. Enjoy Clex Events content and see you in the next video. Bye bye.